Hey guys, it's me, March98, and I'm here to show you a useful redstone trap I made in Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. So, always when you have creepers, they're annoying to kill, and they're, well, they're just difficult to kill, and you want their loot because it's gunpowder. So I've made a simple trap that catches and kills them, and then resets itself. Basically how it works is, I'll show you, and then I'll tell you. That's not how it works, but this is how I'm going to do the video. The creeper comes here. And since I'm in creative mode, I'd hit him to get him. Oh crap, I didn't mean to that. Go on, creeper, go over here. Hello? Yeah. And he gets trapped there. That block crushes him until he dies in any second now. Dead. And all his loot is there. He didn't drop anything, unfortunately. Let's try another one. And I have to set this world to easy mode, so I'm a bit worried about all the stuff being blown up, but it's fine, I don't mind. I don't ever usually do this, but yeah. For you. Hit this, come on creeper, come on creeper, come this way. Nope, run that, okay, still. Either way, you can go through that. He's trapped in it. And he will die eventually. Because I'm as I want, he won't explode. Opens up. And then nothing! I'm gonna wait till I get one to drop something. Come on, creeper. Over here. Why do you do it around? Okay, it's fine. So they can't do anything when they're in there, they just wait for death. Then it resets itself. So it's actually a really efficient and useful trap. It takes a few a lot of materials, but you know, not that bad. Another gunpowder. So that was one. Another one. one. Just fun. It's scary how simple and powerful this thing is. It can trap people as well, any mobs, any mobs that walk on two legs, or have to have two blocks to not suffocate. Because that only pushes down the top block, because there's a you know. Cut down really, there's pressure on the bottom one, so I only push down the top one. So how it works is, the doors are placed in a way so when they're opened, they close around the person and then this block goes down with a system where under the pressure plate, there's just redstone that goes up here and then activates that piston so you can hide some ceiling really easily, just do something like that. It's hard to trap flares obviously because it looks uh, pretty uh, conspicuous. It's pretty obvious there's, not something, there's something not right there and that you're going to be trapped. And then the block comes down and kills you. So I'm going to do it one more time for a creeper, and yeah. It's really simple and a god damn it creepy just escaped! It's a bloody creeper great escape. Oh I'll leave that. Yeah. Won't attack me anyway if I got him. There we are. Straight into that that time. Get off the edge. But it Okay, see you buddy. He's dead. Why are they not dropping anything now? Oh well. So usually, you know, they drop something. It's just useful for trapping creepers and it's a convenient way! It's fine, it's fine. It's all in control, don't worry. But yeah, so it's very simple. Uh, you just place the doors in the right place so when you step on the fresh plate, they open, but then close around the person turning the fresh plate. Really? Ah, it doesn't even matter. But yeah, so when you step on the fresh plate, the doors all open there and for you close around you. And then that activates this line. I've got my him! It's fine, it's fine. That's why I don't have one easy, you see. <laughs> and then that activates this resin torture system which basically just ca yeah, carries system upwards, the signal anyway. It's just a simple way of making redstone, go, redstone signal go directly upwards. It just works with knockers. It doesn't matter how it works really, just use it if you want to make a signal go directly upwards. Just convenient. And then that activates this, and that pushes down, and these close around you. So yeah, it's a pretty useful creeper trap you can put outside your house. Any creepers that spawn, you can just leave them into here, and they will die. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And see you later. Bye, dear.